One, two, three. One, two, three. And hello, fellows. Hero gone here. Today is Tuesday, October 3rd of 2023. It's now 8.09 p.m. And today happens to be a birthday. My own mom's birthday. So if any of you wish, feel free to comment down below, below whether you're on Instagram or eventually YouTube, and feel free to wish my mom a happy birthday if you desire. Now going into this week for what I'd like to rename for this Fun Log Friday slash Showcase Saturday. I've decided to do a new name, and all thanks to me doing a thumbnail for possible YouTube videos, called The Fun Log Files. And as you can see right now, this is sort of the thumbnail template for my YouTube videos. If I end up getting things out there onto YouTube, make a bet that I'll use something similar to what I've got here now. Things may be subject to change, of course, but for now, do enjoy what you're seeing here. Anyways, going back to this week, today we have a very special, and I mean special, Sean the Bro tutorial for this week that came out this past Sunday. Scorp the classic Mortal Kombat move, Scorpions, get over here! I know, people have probably been hoping, hoping, since Mortal Kombat has been around for a while, to know, how can we do it in our own video game? Well, for any of you Unreal Engine users out there, Sean the Bro has provided you the answer. And so shall I with how I went about things. Anyways, Scorpions get over here. And it was of course known as Spear Throw sometimes. It cr creating a projectile that can reel the opponent in. And do feel free to add in your own get over here type of line and mirroring the stunned effect from Mortal Kombat after the move has been attempted. Now, as you can see here from Sean's own stuff, do pardon that he accidentally made that small mistake, and of course, get over here! Ooh, he missed. But do not worry, that is something typical of any sort of old fighting games. Back in the first few Mortal Kombats, I do believe that Scorpion's Get Over Here attack was easily able to do be dodged. I have not attempted such thing in Mortal Kombat 11, though, so I don't know. And then, Get Over Here! And I know this is going to be a recurring joke throughout the video. <laughs> It's always a good time to have some kind of little joke in the video. And of course, going into my project myself, there's actually one thing in the code. But just one thing. A new combo state called Speared. Where this is essentially where our opponent can be speared and then reeled in. That will be useful later on. Most of the stuff, however, is done in Blueprint. First off, we have a new projectile that is a class of the horizontal projectile, aka our fireball projectile, or Hadouken, as most people might like to say, which is technically a, a child of the default projectile Blueprint. But of course, I will focus on projectile spear at the moment. 
We've got event spawn projectile. We call all of the parent stuff from here. And, and of course, we then add set spear user position. And, and for one moment there while I get this hooked up. Now, of course, oh, hold on. Here we go. This is how the horizontal spawn projectile stuff looks. We set our velocity in local space and set actor ro rotation depending on if we're facing right. Now, in projectile spear, the big focus is, of course, the spear user position variable. This tells us so the position of the spear user. And we get the actor location Y and the owner of the spear projectile. Then we have a custom event called speared character, which will let us know about the character that we've currently speared. We stop the movement of the projectile immediately, set our speared character references combo state to speared, and set a timer by event. Once one second is up, we reel in our speared character by attaching actor to actor with the target being our speared character ref, which is Project Fight Star's character. The apparent actor is we are getting a reference to self. No socket names right now. We keep our world for location, rotation, and scale rules, and we weld simulated bodies. Then in set velocity, we set our velocity in local space. I unfortunately had to use a plus and spear solver because my own projectiles unfortunately did not move on the y-axis of the entire world, which would be left and right, but rather the x, which is the forward or backward. It goes towards or away from the camera. So I had to use this plus node here along with a spear solver for the reeling in part, then in event tick, we check if our spear actor location minus spear user position and absolute value is less than the max distance. And if that's true, then we go into a for each loop with break, get our attached actors, reset the array, we cast to our character, then if our actor location minus spear user position is less than or equal to the real in distance, and if that is true, we detach from our actor the character, our combo state, state is set to dazed, and we set our is real in to be true, and that's where we go into the break part, and once that's completed, if the reeled in is true, then for each loop with break happens with the same get attached actors array put in. We loop through the body, cast to our hitbox actor, and destroy that actor, then break from that, and once completed, we destroy it the actor of the spear. And if the spear if the actor location minus spear user position absolute value is less is not less than the max distance, then we go into cast ink to our character, get our owner, set our attack state to none, then go into the completed is reeled in true statement of the of for each loop with break and that is a lot of logic there to go through. I'm not even sure if I explained it the best. 
Anyways, in the Hitbox Actor BP itself, we also have a whole lot of stuff to go through. In particular with if we should destroy something upon collision, if that's false, we're going to cast to our Spear Projectile and then Speared Character. I, of course, have this added in here for the case that we are using complex hurt boxes similar to that of Tekken, but that's probably best left for another time. So our Speared Character function is called, called in Hitbox Actor BP. And of course, the check, all of that's done in the check projectile collision, which has pretty much been unchanged for a while up until the speared part. And then going into the command, we have a new command, which I call Scorpion Throw. And of course, the name, Get Over Here! In this, of then the description is in reference to Scorpion's most iconic attack in Mortal Kombat. You see we have Light Kick as the input type we need for this, and our required state is Crouching. So if we want to do the Scorpion Throw, we need to have ourselves Crouching and then Light Kick while we are in the Crouching state. Then in Hitbox, data, we have a hit, get over here hitbox, or should I say, get over here hitbox 1. And it's a type, hitbox type of projectile, height is high, nothing for the hitbox transform, a hit sound of N simulate, and the damage is 0 .07, and we should ignore the hit stun decay. Then we have, and there was actually one part in Speared I almost forgot. Reel and distance refers to the distance in which we'll reel them in, which is 180. Spear user position, which is our actor locations on the Y axis. Then the max distance at which is the max distance at which the spear can be thrown before it, it, of course, ends up dying, you know? And Spear Solver is, well, my Spear Solver. I had to make a small hack, very long, a bit of a long story that I probably don't have much time. Moving on to the animation blueprint, we have a new little trend, a few new states. Our command, get over here, which is typical of almost all other commands. We start attack transition. We check if we have used our command 16. And even though scorpion throw is 17, we're going off the idea that 1 is 0 and 2 is 1 because integer stuff tends to be like that. They always start with zero. And then of course our command get over I mean our command get over here. Ugh, sorry about my voice. It's a little rough when I don't have too much water, which was why I had to drink. Then in spawns we have this anim notify of spawn spear in the Cop duplicate animation that I've made use of. And uh, of course, the anim notify is of spawn spear. Spawns our projectile with an owner of character reference and the transform being the player transform. We get our data table row of Adam Mortem hitbox data table. Our row name, get over here! Hitbox 1, break moves, create projectile hitbox with all these values being plugged in, or most of the break moves being plugged in. 
then spawn projectile. Create projectile hitbox has been pretty much the same as it's been. Now going back to the states themselves, after we do our go over here, we check if our other player is in the combo state of speared. And if they are, they go into the get over here reel in. Or should I say again, I almost forgot, get over here! And then after the get, get over here reel in, then we go from get over here reel into idle. And of course, the going back to idle has us go to end attack transition as our start transition event for that, which just resets our attack stuff. And of course, we also have ourselves a speared by get over here act state for our opponent that might end up getting speared. So if the character is speared, then we go into the speared by get over here. And then of course, if we have a shared transition rule, which is called dazed, where we go into the dazed state after getting speared by our get over here little thing. And after the dazed is done, we the character then goes back into idle. Boy, this was quite a whole lot of logic to go through. So yeah, that is whoa. A whole lot of whoa for what's supposed to be the most iconic move of Scorpion in Mortal Kombat. So let's get into the actual game itself. We go into learn so you can see if how the projectile spear ends up working. We essentially choose Adam Mortem. And do pardon if it looks slow, my computer is a little on the older side. A 2017 iMac model. Then, in our crouch state, we press kick. Then, boom, spear. And then, of course, get over here! <laughs> and, of course, they are the other opponent has been speared. They go into a dazed state can't really move that much. Once they're done, they're finally back to moving. And do, don't worry, there is also, of course, the other enemy is able to do this. Get over here! And of course, distance does matter a little. As distance can end up into, well, you know, being able to react faster to certain moves. You could just as easily block a certain move, or even avoid it. Observe. My character has a, of course. And there we go. We have dodged the spear. The spear can easily be dodged like that. Of course it goes back, and, and unfortunately we... I, Apparently, I did not know that was going back like that, so yeah. Definitely a few kinks to work here and there. Anyways, that's about the time that I've got. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. Credit goes to Sean LeBro for all of his work. It's been pretty amazing. I'm really glad about this newest episode involving the get over here mechanic has that has definitely been a sorely requested even though i have not entirely requested such a move i have other particular mechanics i'd like to have done sometime by Sean the bro but of course Sean is a busy man Hopefully everyone knows that. But this is definitely something for any fighting game fans to enjoy. And with all that being said, I've been Herogon, 
You've been you. Thank you for tuning in. And for now, I will see you all real soon. Goodbye, everyone.